Tuesday. Okay, so there we go. Anyway, I know I hate this angle too, y'all. But I just pulled the car out the garage. Did I say it was Tuesday? Yes, I did. Um, it's warm already. It's like 78 degrees. I'm tired, you guys. I'm so tired. You know how those mornings that you feel like calling in? <laughs> well, I feel like calling in every morning. That's just me, but I don't. I can't even take a mental health day because I'm off this Thursday. But it's not like I can sleep in on Thursday. I have an appointment early in the morning, so... Yeah, you guys, I'm tired. But I do get to see my little niece today. I didn't see them for a while, but we did video calls and stuff like that. And then, when I was supposed to go see her, I got COVID. So, yeah, she feels comfortable with us going over to visit the baby. I'm so excited. And she asked that we wear our masks, which I'm totally fine with. I get it, I understand. So, yeah, you guys, um, that's what I'm doing tonight. And, yes, if she allows me to record her or anything like that, I will. And I'll show you guys my little niece, even though I showed you guys pictures of her before. I know she don't mind the pictures because she's all on Facebook on my brother's page and whatnot. So, yeah. Okay, let me get to work. I'm so tired, you guys. I hope these eight hours fly by. I'll make my coffee at work because... I didn't feel like doing it here and that's free coffee at work even though the creamer was not all that great i'm just rambling let me get going i used to love liz claiborne and when i was younger it smelled so good so i got this online and they changed the bottle because the bottle used to just be like a red triangle bottle so now it's clear to do this with one hand so it looks like this on right so I put it on I sprayed it no actually first I smelt it and I'm like okay it smells good and then I sprayed it on me y'all I think they changed the formula because this stinks now I don't know but this smells horrible so I'm sending it back good morning everyone hold on driving crazy anyway this is not the first time I've had someone on Facebook market flake on me or whatever and I have not purchased a lot from people on Facebook market but from my experience they either don't message you back or message you back and you make arrangements and they flake so anyway she was messaging me all day yesterday oh yeah you know um, you can come get it either last night and I couldn't do it last night because we had um, church service we're like in revival right now and I said okay well this morning work she says yes nine o'clock and I asked her what area that she lived in and she told me to cross streets and I said okay I said well um, I live on the other side of town I will message you around 8 30 that way you can give me your address because it was a porch pickup I'm not going in her house that way you can give me your address and then I can come get it. Okay, sounds good. So this morning at 8.30, I messaged her. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nine o'clock comes. 
comes around and I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe I misunderstood and maybe she meant like nine o'clock she'll message back. I don't know. So nine o'clock I messaged her and I said, are you going to be available shortly for me to pick up the rug or something like that? Nothing. It's 10 o'clock now, like I told you guys, well, five after. And I still don't have a message from her. And you know, on Facebook Messenger, you can see when a person reads the message and she has not read the message. So I'm a reasonable person. You know, anything could have happened, you know, between yesterday and today. Even though she messed with my schedule, I'm pretty reasonable. So if and when she messages back, I'll let you guys know what she says. But if she doesn't message back or if she looks at the message and ignores it, then this would not be the first time that I have had someone from Facebook Market flake on me. Like, yeah, I don't get it. Why put things up there if you're not ready to sell it? I got cash, man. I got money. I'm ready to give it to you. My hard-earned money. Take it, take it. But no. Everyone came last night to visit our church service, so it was just really good to see them. We went out to eat afterwards, we went to BJ's, and just hanging out and talking and laughing and yeah, catching up. It was nice, it was really nice. Done with Ikea, I did find some curtains that are really cute and I just hope it looks right. I think it will with the route that I'm going for my living room. Oh, and I bought like this fake plant because y'all know me and still no message from the rug lady. She has till the end of the day and then no matter what, I'm calling it quits, which it's probably quits now. Let me not get upset because anything could have happened. You know, even though she told me one time, who knows, something could happen. It could have been an emergency. I will see. All right, I think I'm going to go to Home Goods next. I am back home, and these are the curtains that I got from Ikea. I'm not putting them up today. You guys won't see me put them up until I, I'm gonna do a separate video for that. And then I just got a few more decorations um, from Home Goods and Hobby Lobby. So, yeah, you guys will see all this when I do a reveal, but I can show you guys this. So, these are Ray Dunn plates, and it says, they all say blessed. And I remember when I was, oops, 
I remember when I was crazy about Ray Dunn. I wanted these so bad and I couldn't find them because everyone was selling them for crazy prices. $12 for a set of four plates. And they all say blessed. And I remember when I first discovered Ray Dunn, I wanted these so bad, but people were literally selling these for a set of four anywhere from 75 to over a hundred dollars because they knew people wanted them really bad and I'm like no I don't think so that's just crazy and now that the craze has died down that's the reason why people are able to find a lot of her stuff in the stores so yeah I'm just gonna set this to the side so I can wash it so I'm pretty sure I showed you guys these pictures before when I went over to my brother and sister laws house to see the baby they gave me some larger pictures and then this one right here I love it absolutely love it it's a collage and it's my brother right there and yeah I remember showing you guys and then this is her when she was pregnant so yeah I cannot wait to hang this in my living room it's almost 6 a.m. and I'm about to start working but just wanted to show you guys the couches for the last time. They are being picked up this morning and see how the leather is all faded and whatever. So, yeah, you guys, you have served us well and you're going to a good home now. So, yeah. All right, you guys, make my coffee and get ready to clock in. And I will try to get some footage of when they remove the couches. Okay. Okay, I just got a phone call and they should be here within 30 minutes and I just want to get this camera set up so I can get a full view of them taking it out for you guys. So, yeah, bye couches. I'm actually kind of sad, but I'm excited. They're here. just sweep this up I'm gonna roll up this carpet and then that way I'm gonna sweep everything and mop and get it ready for the new furniture and the rug that's coming they were in and out in like five seven minutes tops They're very efficient very professional at their job and whatnot I'll put you guys in on my next break the reason why I went with 1-800 got junk <laughs> even though the couches wasn't junk okay so I am on lunch and I just like completely swept and vacuumed the floor and then I mopped it so it's drying now and I think I'm gonna like mop it again just to give it a good thorough cleaning I do mop or I did mop underneath the couches it was clean but it was dirty if that makes any sense so anyway Savannah's hecka loud she's on the phone with Evie Anyway, so the reason why I use the 1-800-GOT-JUNK is because every charity place that I called, they either were not accepting large furniture or they were able to come, but not until September, the end of September. And I'm like, I need these couches gone really, really fast. So I called 1-800-GOT-JUNK and so the man reassured me, and I hope it's the case, that before they actually junk it, and put it to the like the junkyard or whatever they try to find a charity who will accept it and they can always take it to goodwill the reason why i couldn't take it to goodwill because i didn't have a truck and i've even had people and i think i told you guys this on facebook market that wanted to buy it but they wanted me to drop it off no i can't do that let me show you my living room it's so empty it's echoing here yeah and i did roll up the rug i'm just gonna put it to the side but yeah, I swept everything and mopped and then I have to go through prop. Oh my God, Evie and Savannah are super loud. I have to go through with like a scraper or something like that because where I had the rug tape on the floor, some of that didn't come off. So I'm gonna have to get down there and scrape it and then I will mop it again. But yeah, you guys, this is my 
empty living room getting ready for the new furniture yeah good thing we don't have to do this for long i am in <laughs> one of my yard chairs that i use when i go to the park not very comfortable when you're trying to relax i think i will be better off pulling up a chair from the dining room table yeah thank god we won't have to do this for long so it's a few days later it's after work y'all know me don't mind how i look i'm about to run to the gym not run to the gym but i'm going to the gym anyway i realized i didn't tell you guys about the rug so she finally messaged me back and she said oh sorry i forgot you were coming by tonight mind you we made arrangements for me to come that morning not last night and so she gave me her address and she said, okay, tomorrow after 9 a.m., I'll make sure to remind myself. So me trying to be as nice as possible, but letting her know um, bad business, I said, hello. We actually made plans for me to come this morning at 9. I rearranged my whole morning, but when you never responded, I decided to go a different route. I will not be buying the rug, but thank you. And then she said, no worries, sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah, and I did decide to go another route because um, I'm not going to do the layered look like I was going to. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that because um, I realized I never did because I made it like not a big deal, but that was like a big part of my day that day that I was so excited about getting this expensive rug for dirt cheap and she still hasn't sold it. So it's probably because of her inconsistencies with contacting people so yeah but let me show you guys something else that I got today and I feel so I can't wait to hang it I love it let me show you guys look you guys isn't this the cutest thing welcome to Gigi's place you all know I'm Gigi weekends weekdays and or whenever so yeah I got this sign and thank you Savannah thought it was so cute y'all I put this on Instagram and within seconds of me pressing the button to send it to upload it or whatever you want to call it I was getting congratulation messages and whatever and I'm like um let me put in there quick no one's expecting it was just a nice thought from my daughter because I'm Gigi hi guys today is Tuesday and um, I'm working from home today I'm on break but I'm working from home today because I have a package that I need to sign for. My manager let me work from home today. So anyway, I just wanted to hop on here and tell you guys that. So you know the furniture that I told you guys that we were supposed to have delivered on the 19th? Well, today is the 23rd of August and it's still not here. You wanna know why? So the day before it was to be delivered, I got a phone call and I got all happy thinking, woohoo! you know I'm gonna get my furniture tomorrow you know because I work from home on Thursdays and you know I'm thinking anytime whatever time they say yep come deliver it so he called me and he said Miss Rogers is your couch cream colored and I'm like no and he goes oh well there was a mix-up with the shipment I guess a lady ordered the exact same things that I did the couch and the um, other stuff in a different color and that kind of makes sense to me that they would think that except I don't know how but anyway one time when I went in to make a final payment for my couch he asked me for my phone number and then the guy goes are you so-and-so a different name I said no and he said oh and he started scrolling and looking through some stuff he goes oh okay there you are it was just a mix-up so I don't know if they still had my number on her order. I don't know. But anyway, so now the furniture is on the next shipment, which isn't going to be here until the first. So then he said on the first, they will call me to find out a delivery date. So it'll be after the first. So yeah, we're pretty much squatting in our living room. That's what Cheyenne said. She's like, mom, we're basically squatting in here. We have the lawn chairs out there and Savannah brought her mattress out there. And I'm not even gonna show you guys cause it, it looks a mess. It looks like we're just hanging out in someone's living room. So yeah, we are couchless in there. 
exactly what I didn't want to happen. Remember, I, we had this conversation and I told you guys, you know, the dilemma I was having. So I planned it perfect. And even though at the time I thought only going to be a three day difference. No. Well, anyway, just wanted to tell you guys that. Yeah.